Hello everybody, my name is Nasha Noob and welcome back to um, Shadowrun! Where we run in the shadows! Ha ha ha, I'm so funny. Um, we didn't do anything. I think, I think we're gonna be in trouble because like, we have no health things. Um, I don't know how well everybody's doing for health or if I can tell how everybody's doing for health. Like, uh, uh, maybe, maybe between the things it went and recharged that, you know? But we'll find out. Is there anything back here? Nope, no secrets? Okay, let's continue on. Um, I don't... I was the terribleness where I didn't play for a bit. Destroy all humans? Come on, you, you don't want to do that, do you? Alright, let's get out of here. We're gonna escape. Sad that we couldn't get... Is it Monica? Paul Amsel. Step inside and the squalor of the disused U-Bahn tunnel gives way to the warmth of your safe house. A man waits inside, silhouetted against the dim fluorescent lighting. Something bad has happened, hasn't it? Hmm. Fixer and landlord, part deal maker, part information broker, one of the most well-connected men in Berlin. Convenient. I had a feeling. How did she... How did it happen? Um, I'm gonna do run was a setup. This this was something worse. Black IC. I wonder what black IC is. Monica died of a bio biofeedback induced stroke. That's right. And this idiot stood by and let it happen. That's bullshit, Iger. You weren't even in the room. Poke me again, I dare you. Well, it happened, she dragged in, she screamed, she seed. By the time we saw she was in trouble, it was already too late, because it's true. Muscle contractions, micro tremors are good indicators of a decorate in distress. I'm assuming you didn't have anyone keep an eye out for those? <laughs> yeah, and it literally happened so quick, we didn't even have a chance to do anything for her. Oh man. Iger, why are you so mean to me? She was the best right, but she was also overconfident. She treated the job like it was a game. Do that long enough and you're gonna get burned. If you'd been paying attention, you'd have figured all this out on your own by now. You'd know that Monica needed watching as much as that door. Yeah, but like, it literally happened so quick. How many seconds passed between Monica first convulsion and her plug getting pulled? Four or five? Do you know how much damage biofeedback can do to a back Decker's brain in five seconds? Look, this won't help. Monica Dowell stood there and walked. This is all your... That is enough! I agree you and Riley can have it out later, but I've had enough. We need to talk action. Our client sent you into something much bigger than he led us to believe. I want to know why. Right there with you. This was supposed to be a milk run. Payback is the only reason we need to find him. I wonder if there's like any chance we could have been the one and just instantly kill yourself. <laughs> Agreed to, to neutralize that danger, we need to know who we are dealing with. Let's review. Um. Fewer Shringe. Fire. I'm pretty sure Fewer Shringe is the fire wing. Okay, not firewall. That is unexpected. You'll have to forgive me. This brings back many unpleasant mes memories. The most terrible of the great dragons. <gasps> there are those who would disagree, but they never experienced the terror of living in her shadow. You're far too young to remember her, of course, but for Germans of my generation, the name Führerschwinge is synonymous with chaos, destruction, and death. If he's German, I should really be giving him a German accent, but then again, everybody here is maybe German, so- Oh no, I accidentally clicked twice! Well, we will never know what that last one said. Countless men, women, and children were slaughtered. I'm also, like, terrible at accents, so I'm not even gonna try. Rampaging Dragon. Eventually, the fire ring was brought down by a man named Dr. Adrian Vauclair. Well, with the help of the Luftwaffe. 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 Luf, I don't know. But it was the experimental weapons designed by Dr. Vauclair that finally pierced her hide. She fell in a hail of bullets and rocket pellet and crashed down the radioactive wasteland of the Sox. The event was called the Dragonfall. Dun dun dun! Okay. Save at last from the dragon's wrath, Germany celebrated Valkyrie as a hero. Owen Siegfried, a modern dra Sig dragon slayer. Hey! My own family practically worshipped the man. Hmm, I'm surprised I've never heard of it. Those early years of the awakening were traumatic, Iger. Not just on a, on a national level, but on a global scale. 
New species of awakened animals were being discovered daily. Within two years of the Dragonfall, the active use of magic had returned to the world, a noose of, of terror for the bewildered public. And in 2021, the sudden emergence of orcs and trolls gave rise to yet another wave of global panic. In light of such turmoil, is it any surprise that Dr. Vauclair and the Firewing were forgotten? Dragons were yesterday's news. Again, all this happened decades ago. To the best of my knowledge, the story of Fear, <laughs> Fear Schwinge, Sh Fear Schwinge, Schwinge, is a bit of historical trivia, nothing more. So Monica spent her dying breath to tell us about a long dead dragon. Any ideas as to why? No. It does not make any sense to me. Yeah, the Dragonfall is ancient history. Um, but there's one thing that I do know. Whatever Monica saw, whatever she was trying to tell us, it was important. <sighs> In the meantime, did you turn up anything else with that? Do you? We were confronted by an orc in military-grade armor. He appeared to be the head of security. <laughs> that is not much to go into. Um, mid to late 40s, pretty old for an orc. That would have been like one of the first orcs. And he had skin grafts. Most of his face looked like replacement material. If the grafts came from a legitimate hospital, there may be medical records. Mm. That is much is clear. Took serious fun spell. Yeah, that was like intense. Places like that don't spring up overnight. And all in a secret. The owners, whoever they may be, were none too pleased by your escape, I'm sure. What else did you find? That's all we got. That's not much. Nope. A basement, a middle aged orc, whisking rash, and a long forgotten world event. Hmm. No rally. I'm not holding out. I'm tired and I'm frustrated and I already miss Monica. I did not think to mention our employer because I did not set up the job. Monica did. I warned her. I told her not to take this one, but she assured me it would be a killing walk. Monica was approached recently by a man who calls himself Green Winters. He used to be a prominent activist in the F-State political scene. I never much liked the man, and I certainly never trusted him. But Monica, she would do anything for her cause. Anything for the Flux Day. <sighs> Winters swore that the data he was after was crucial to ensuring the future stability of the Flux. That was all it took. Green Winters! Alright. When he finds out what happened on the run, he's probably gonna wrap it. We need to chase him down before that happens. Hmm, any leads? We need it fast. There was a man here in the Kuzpasa, a Turk named. Oh my goodness, I'm not even gonna try and say that. He owns a little soykef shop just down the way called Cafe Sezve. The man is also a purveyor of information. I have done business from with him from time to time. I think he would know something about Green Winters. When I discovered Monica's renewed association with Green Winters, I contacted Altuk. One of the people, one of the people has given me even tags on Winters ever since. Holy shit, this is conversation heavy, like crazy. For good reason, it would seem. I'll talk to, hmm, pragmatic. Yes. Okay. Karma gained five. Oh, okay, what else can you say? Did you get the information? No, not yet. Fuck you. Maybe I don't want to get the information. Okay, what else can I interact with? Are you gonna tell me that's not entirely my fault? Hmm, legacy. Shaman. Riley, welcome. I've got a bottle of schnapps that needs sharing. To Monica. Monica, Prost. Ooh. What made you choose to come to Berlin? Oh man. <laughs> Why do you want to know? Um, I'd rather not talk about it. Honestly, I can't. I'll listen. If you're gonna be calling the shots from this point on, I need to know what kind of woman you are. A member of my old crew betrayed me. I just had to drop out of sight for a while. I ran out bad and my team paid the price. I don't think I should say that because then that's like bad luck. So, a member of my crew? <laughs> Trail always makes me see red. I tried to make amends for it, but the bastard got away. I ventilated the son of a bitch. There were extenuating circumstances. If he didn't do what he did, his family would have paid the price. Ooh. Still on him, not you. He should have been more careful. What'd you do? Ventilated him? What could I do? I faked my own death. That was the only way to save his family's lives. Yeah. 
things don't tend to last very long. Okay. <laughs> I thought she pulls out another bottle like he's drinking another one. Monica made me a hell of an offer. So you came back to Berlin and to Monica. And it all comes back to a girl, doesn't it? Yes. So let me ask you, what was your relationship with Mon- <laughs> Are you always this inquisitive? Yeah, I suppose. My life's an open book, so I guess I just sort of figure everyone else's will be. We were very close. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We're gonna be very close. Anyways, I've taken enough of your time and the bottle's almost empty. Rest in peace. Okay. Well, at least we got to go and- uh, I don't think there's like anything else to interact with here. Okay, let's uh... Talk to the pup! Woof! Dante. Oh, Oh shit. Don't worry boy, we'll look after you. Oh. He knows! There. Oh, just so sad! Hey! Mein Freundin? Oh, now he finally said, like, something in German. You know? Now I think we should all take a moment for Monica. Okay, does this mean the dog is- the doge is gonna be part of my party? Aha! It was! Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Um. Oh, he's so cute. He has nothing of anything though. So like, I hope I don't bring him and get him killed or something. Stupid. Okay, um. Ooh, equip less slash dash. Yeah, let's get some more stuff. Okay. Oh, I don't have anything. <laughs> uh, let's get out of here. All right, um, Iger, I think we have to talk now. Something I can do for you, fearless reader? Uh, nothing right now. Good call. Yeah. I just, I don't know. We're gonna be bad at confrontation. Glory is beautiful in a wayfish sort of way. Her features are almost elvish in their delicacy, but there's something cold about her that you find unsettling. What's more unsettling is her chrome. Glory's rocking a heavy load of cyberware from head to toe. She looks to be composed more of plastic and metal than she is of skin and bones. Bulky invasive, practically museum pieces, this chrome was obviously well before she was born. Huh. Can I help you? Of the personal kind. Alright. I still need to talk to you. You can't have started running the shadow much more than five years ago, tops. So it's with the vintage chrome. It was cheap. It gets the job done. End of discussion. Uh, but I met anyone who thought Lintary installed cyberware that's old. There's more to it than I'm letting off, but I'm not interested in talking about it. Uh, that's fine. I'll talk to you later. Ciao. Thanks for chatting with me. Oh, Dante's following me. Think. Yeah, he's so adorable. Oh, that took a long time to light up. All right. And I guess we're gonna go this way. Maybe I'm not sure. Near fear, Mita fighter. That's I agree. I should really learn how to do um, a German accent. One of my coworkers does one. It's hilarious, but it's so bad. It's like so bad it's good, you know? And then I can do it for the characters that we know have a German accent. Like I would do it, but I'm pretty sure I would insult people if they heard me with it right now. Hey, the Dwarvish tech vendor smiles at you with practice ease, her almond eyes twinkling with the glare from a dozen trade screens. She speaks in a clipped, heavily accented German. Welcome to the data heaven. <laughs> can, I, can I help you with something? I need some tech and I'm on a tight schedule. Ooh, let's go and do it. Let's see, we, let's see what we can get. How much money do I have? I have... Oh man, there's so many things. I need an outfit, clearly. Ah! What do I need? I don't know what I need. 
I mean, these all these are all cyber decks, so these are all things that would be when we are in the thing, hey? Shield expert system program. I don't think I need these yet. Well, maybe I do. Uh, okay, maybe. Let's try and hopefully we'll come across more people that, like, have stuff. Oh, I don't know which way to go. Um, down this way? Let's try and go down this way. Cafe? Okay, that's where we need to go. So I want to see if there's more people to talk to and, like, stuff to buy. Telemonger shop. Let's go in the shop. Hi. In my way. I want to go in there. Fine, I'm going to go talk to this one. Hmm. May she capture breath in your chest. She's lovely to look up, but it's kind of a strange beauty. Her eyes are large and luminous and possibly clean. <sighs> and welcome to Algernon's. Perhaps I can help you with something. Oh, absinthe. Oh, no. Oh no, I'm losing myself. Oh my gosh. She just like... Braxton, one of embarrassment. Welcome back, friend. Oh man, what happened? Sometimes when I daydream, I bring others along for the ride. It was unintentional, yes, but there was no harm done, correct? You'll be fine. Um... Can I, can I buy stuff now? Okay, how about from you? Can I buy stuff from you? There's stuff. Show me your inventory. Okay, <gasps> this looks like real stuff, maybe. Prentice outfit, it has things. I gotta go and make sure to. Okay, weapons. Acid bolt from mage. Who's a mage on mine? I was like a something chi casting conjuring consumables uh heal wound okay i think i can't actually use anything here either well whatever then i'm a too busy fainting apparently falling in love oh who are you hi hi let's talk let's chat Ooh. Recognize him as David, one of the Cruz Bazaar street kids. If you had to guess, he placed him in his mid team so it's difficult to tell beneath the grand and acne marring his face. You see him following Magnaco around between lunch, chasing her heels like a lost puppy. Mm. <laughs> she dead, isn't she? I'm sorry, kid, we all are. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna tell- I'm not gonna, like, just lie and say she went peacefully. But I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, it was awful. There was blood everywhere. And just, like, hey, I like that. They have a little community garden going on. What is this? Dancer's Bay? What the fuck is this? Can I, can I loot it or something? Walk away. I'm not tipped in the motherfucking dancer. This is my money. Okay, I think I should go into the cafe. It's probably good enough now. You guys think so? I think so. Because, like, honestly, by the time, like, there's so much to do and look at the time I don't I like this this game's cool but a lot of talking and bad for somebody like me who is terrible what is the menu board caramel soy cuff oi looks right past you and the dog falling quite behind. time Denta I'll fetch his water and perhaps a coffee for a friend here um Nice. Okay, when he hears Amsel's name, the Turk's voice lowers and his accent becomes less exaggerated. His eyes take on a knowing look. Ah, very good. Please express to her, Amsel, my appreciation of his patronage. If he needs any more catering jobs seen to in the future, I am always happy to fab. Tell me you're developing the menu for a friend of his now, Herr Winters. Um... Of course, of course, her Amsel is too kind. Kimi, come! Ooh, hey, Kimmy. As you wish, Uncle, I'll see to it right away. Snaps her gun and hurries back in the room in which she came from. My girl Cammy's raging to make contact with the chef, chef as we speak. So it'll take you some time. My chef is a very busy man. Um. Uh. No trouble at all. Parent is simple. 
totally worthy of you. I've installed a number of data taps to Berlin's fiber optic network. As part of my civic duty, you understand. These taps provide free matrix access to all who live in the Cruz Bazaar. In order to maintain their, how do I say it, their anonymity, each tap's vertical buffer must be reset every few days. Ah, oh, okay. That's it, no catch. Ah, uh, just reset them. There should be three of them. Ooh. Ah, okay, let's go do that. Oh, who is this? Who are you? Hey, hello, my friend. A fine day for soy calf, yes? Don't mind the fool in the chair. He rose like a traumatized walrus, stewing all day in his own sweat. I tolerate him only because he takes his toy calf by the bucket. Ah, I'll take mine friendin. You're as quick witted and sharp tongued as ever. I'm out of here. <laughs> I feel like he's just not gonna give me a chance to really talk at all, so I'll I'll just move on. Okay, let's. There's a data tap. Something about something yellow. There was a data tap. Oh, right here. Okay. Okay. Now we reset that one. So let's move up this way. And where else would the data taps be? Can I get hit by a car? It'd be kind of funny. Kind of bad, but kind of funny. This area is really big. There's so many people, too. Okay. You looking for some magic, my friend? My friend? Oh, Zach's got the flash. Ah, there we go. I found it. For sure. Where is this? Try the Shiber Climnet. Oh, I want to buy things. Um, this is very dark in here. Dr. Xavier, as you approach the elf, you notice that he's in mid-conversation. He slips through rapidly and his voice comes out in a low, quiet tone. Ooh. No, no, the price I'm quoting you is more than fair. Well below market value, in fact. If you can't pay it, that's your problem. Yes, I know the price has gone up. This is the seller's market. Well then, you'll just have to find the money or go without- I'm sorry, but I have to go. I have patience. Triage! Riley, a pleasure! What can I do for you today? I need medical supplies! I need medical supplies! Okay. What should I get? Basic med kit? Uh huh. I should you get a couple of those. Honestly, I should just get those all because I suck. Okay. I'm gonna put two of them in my stash for now. Okay, and what else do I need? I need cyberware? What else of cyberware can I get? Ah. Extension and hash and data jack? Um, I data jack, induction data jack, silver arm cyber, at 6 HP. Oh, I have enough to buy it! Apparently. I thought I didn't have that much money. Oh, did I accidentally sell some of them? I think I might have... I don't know if I did. Hmm. I'm not gonna buy anything yet. Alright, let's go. Just in case, like... Maybe there's a lot of stores, you know, and I have, I, I need to, I need some bullets. Like, I think I need to buy. Oh, can we go down here? Okay. Let's not go down that way, I guess. I need one more Decker thingy, though, or Charger thingy. Oh, uh, whatchamafugget. <laughs> that thing that does the things. I want, I want back to this person. Hmm. The mother superior. She says there'll be seven for me to care for. I need to see them. <laughs> You're high as a kite, aren't you? <laughs> she says I'm to be governess to the children. Oh man. I need money to get back to them. Oh man. Look, how do you know Monica? Ooh. She died while working a job, yes. I don't like this, but I can't switch it off. 
Ah, oh, she will go to heaven, she told me. It is a place for good people, stillborn babies and childhood pets. And she was a good person. Hmm, that's kind of sad. But I guess that's what she's doing to... Oh, phone rings? What is this? Let's, let's go answer the phone that's ringing. Ooh. Pick up the receiver. The shop well right there. Contract for this keys is no more. Bradley is listed as a follow-up contact. This is our only secured line to the keys. Please listen to the following instruction carefully if you are a supporter of Sure, let's listen. We have phone booths in strategic locations throughout the city. Within each one you may find requests posted for specific information. Ah, nice. Extra extra things. Okay. I'll keep an eye out. Okay. Sounds good! Cause now I can do this. Ah. Ooh. After mo uh, just heard Monica. We need to verify. Good for us. Sounds like a conveyor belt starts adding to the noise and machinery. Think our next step. Wait, isn't ready to make a move yet. To be patient. See who steps up. Could be someone more. Sounds like a telephone. Guten Tag, how may I help you? I heard. Yes, he knows. I told him it wasn't time to make a move yet. What do you think I am, an idiot? The council needs to meet again. I know, everyone getting in the same room is challenging. Getting an agree on a course of action is going to be even more challenging. From my perspective, the Curse Bazaar was only stable because of her. If she really is out of the way, well, we'll see, won't we? Yeah, I know, I know. What can I say? Things go slow in the flux sometimes. Hmm. Interesting. Let's check out this statue. Okay. Bizarre monument. Ooh. What is it? Okay. Hello there. I'm Herbert Kunzel, the creator of this monument. What would you like to know? Hmm. I'm going to step away from the statue. I'm moderately curious, but I'm pretty sure. Ah, there we go. I think maybe there'll be information for us. Oh. Hoping that there'd be, like, already a thing for us. Alright, let's go this way. And we gotta go back. Because I think... I think... How are we doing for time? Let me just save this really quick. Save... Oh, I can't save the game. So one thing, it has a very lack of uh, save points in this game. You know? It's very lacking on those. Oh, but he... I don't think I talked to him yet. Maybe he, he, maybe he sells something I need. I'm pretty sure I have, like, no, and I can't just punch everybody. Hmm. He seems cheerful enough. I might be interested. Uh, sure. Show me what you got. Adds plus two movement and two pl plus two AP for one round. Kamikaze. Oh, Ooh, combat system has two body, one strength, and one willpower for five rounds. Or I strength and will plus two, but minus two charisma and intelligence for five rounds. Ah. That sounds good, though. I think. I'll just buy that one. Oh, okay, these are in my stack. Um, stash right now. Um. Okay, let's confirm that. I still haven't found any more bullets, and that's what I need. Because I am out. Oh, hi. Who are you? Can you can you sell me things? I think I'm lost. Um, I know you haven't been here long. Ooh. Marley, by the way. What's your place? Um, everybody's been talking about it. We lost her. I'll leave you be. Damn it! I was hoping for someone that would be helpful. You bond platform. Okay. Oh. This is the safe house. Man, this map is like decently big. Like bigger than I. Th Had I talked to this person already? Um. Just browsing. Let's get out of here. Gotta see all the things. Okay. And go to the cafe! We should be stopping. Oh, yes, it's a golden now. That means we've completed the quest. Alright, I finished with your little trifle. 
Ah, very good. I assume you had no difficulties? Not at all. It's just good to take in the night air. I plan on doing that tonight, actually, when it's nice and laid out, going out for a late night walk. Let us return to our pressing business. Hey! Inside is her memory stick. Ooh. Please accept my condolences as well. I only just heard the news. Monica was an important part of this community. Few knew how important. The memory stick Kami just handed you should contain all the information Hera Amsel requires from our chef in the field. Should you require my service in the future, you know where to find me. Until then, good day. I said good day! Goodbye! I should stop. Oh, Dante, you're still following me. You're the best little guy ever. Can I save now? Alright. I'm gonna save. And that's the end of this episode where Chad and Lots works. Chad and Lots works. Maybe I'll go and try and do a terrible accent next time. But I'm embarrassed, so I probably won't. Just because, like, I don't want to insult anybody by ter having a terrible accent. And, well, you know, they can be funny. They can also be just bad. So, yeah, probably shouldn't. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!